afternoon. Uh, welcome back to our Advent uh, Together Reflections. Every year here at St Michael's and indeed in lots of other churches, we put together nativity scenes, crib scenes uh, that represent uh, that first Christmas of Jesus being born in the stable. And one of our traditions here at St Michael's is we, when we put it together, there are a few figures who don't make it into the stable at Christmas and they gradually journey their way closer and closer to the nativity scene going round the different parts of the church. If you come to St Michael's, you'll know exactly which figures I'm talking about. They are the wise men and their famous and trusted camel. We don't put them into the nativity because they don't arrive in the nativity until January. In fact, uh, on January the 6th, the church has a new festival which is called Epiphany. The 12 days of Christmas are over and we focus on the Epiphany, which is the arrival of a wise men who present to Jesus gold, frankincense and myrrh. But for the wise men to arrive just after Jesus was born, and I'm not going into the historical, uh, did they arrive 12, 13 days after Christmas or, or whatever, but they did arrive eventually. For them to arrive close to Jesus' birth, they had to set off some time beforehand. And the reason they had to set off some time beforehand is it's believed that the wise men, the Magi, came from somewhere called Mesopotamia, which was around 700 miles away. So they had to set off in advance. And our story today is about a journey some other people had to make. It comes from Genesis chapter 12. So again, we're still at the beginning of the Bible. And it says this. The Lord said to Abraham, leave your country, your relatives and your father's home and go to a land that I'm going to show you. I will give you many descendants and they will become a great nation. I will bless you and make your name famous so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, but I will curse those who curse you and through you I will bless all nations. When Abraham was 75 years old, he started out from Haran as the Lord had told him to do, and Lot went with him. Abraham took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, and all the wealth and all the slaves that they'd acquired in Haran, and they started out for the land of Canaan. When they arrived in Canaan, Abraham travelled through the land until he came to the sacred tree of Morah, the holy place at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were still living in the land. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, this is the country that I'm going to give to your descendants. Then Abraham built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. Abraham was told to go from one place to another and it was a really long journey. That wasn't easy for Abraham, but there was a promise of a new life and a new way of living and promises of family and wealth in this new place. It's coming up to two years since Jess and I moved into the vicarage at Bramall. It wasn't a particularly big move. We moved from about 10 miles away uh, over near Altrincham to here in Bramall. But before that, about 18 months before that, we moved from the Wirral to uh, Greater Manchester. That was a slightly longer journey. And before that, three years before that, uh, I moved um, from Nottingham, Jess moved from London and from Leicester, and I moved up some of my possessions from my family home in Hampshire. They were big moves that required a lot of energy. All the packing and the sorting and the lifting when someone moves house can be really exhausting but the hard work was worth it. Having to pack everything away and then unpack everything in our new houses was totally worth it because it means a new home, it means new beginnings. God called Abraham and Sarai to leave everything they knew behind and to follow God to a place he had in mind for them, a place where he would bless them and where he would bless all their family. Abraham and Sarai were fairly old when God asked this of them, but they trusted God, packed up and set off. God never let them down. So as we think of that story of Abraham and Sarai, 
couple of questions for you. And these are, when have you had to let, had to go somewhere new? Sorry for the stumble there. Where have, when have you had to go somewhere new? How did it make you feel? Take a moment to think about those questions in relation to the story we've just had. Sometimes journeys can be really intimidating. Sometimes it's the moving, sometimes it's the new thing, sometimes it's the leaving behind. But God invited Abraham and Sarai on a journey and in that journey, he greatly blessed them. God calls all of us on a journey and he tells us the destination eventually is heaven, but there are many stops along the way before we get there. And part of that promise is God promises to journey with us too. So however you answer the questions, however you're feeling on this journey to Christmas, know that God is with us, that he is journeying with us. And he was where we began, he is where we are now, and he is where we will arrive. I'm going to go and put the next symbol on our Jesse tree, which is the symbol of a camel. But first, let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for coming to earth and revealing your love. Help me to be ready to do big things to help other people know your love too. Amen.